Um, we were lucky enough to go to the panda sanctuary in Chengdu. It was so amazing. We saw eight beautiful pandas and panda babies, and it was just gorgeous. Do you want to take one home with you? So of because course. we have one for you here. <gasps> oh, baby. It's so cute. It's a bit heavy because it's, it is the actual weight yeah, of a little panda. Yeah, it's heavy. Oh, sweetie. My baby, like <laughs> my baby. I hope you can take it home with you to Australia. In my if suitcase. You can. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it's not real, it's not real. <laughs> it looks so real. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I hope you can feel here. more relaxed um, with a cuddly yeah, panda here. I do, I feel good. And we have another cutie here. This is a designer toy, Aww. a collaboration between Kino and Singer 2024 to wish you good luck today and break a leg tonight. She looks you know? like me. Yeah, this, this purple dress. <laughs> cute. <laughs> Very cute. Thank you. Oh. This is not the first time that you're here, obviously. Mm. You just got off your tour. Mm, In yeah. China, you went to a couple of cities, right? Mm -hmm. Last time we were here, we had such a good time and our last show was in Shanghai. Shanghai. And after the show, we had a really good night. We went to a little jazz bar and there was all these Chinese musicians, like you could jump up on stage, anyone could jump up on stage and my band and me jumped up on stage and we sang a few songs with the local musicians. It was wow. really fun. It's like an unusual experience. Yeah, it's really special and it's like everybody's like feeling really free and really like having a good creative time together. Liberating. Yeah. And I think I have went to one of those clubs before to oh, yeah. see the performances. There are usually um, a big band on stage, but I've never jammed there This was before. pretty small and there was a singer. We were doing like Bruno Mars songs oh, and stuff. Yeah? It was like a funky kind of place. Yeah, it was cool. I wish I was there actually. Next time fun. if you're Next going, let I'll, me know. I'll you. <laughs> so we still have a little time before the show mm -hmm. and we know that you love doing handicrafts. Yeah. So we prepared these moon-shaped fans Ooh. for you Perfect to... for the hot weather in yes, Chesha. exactly. Since yeah. you're coming from Australia, which is... Winter. You guys are in yeah. winter right now. Mm -hmm. So um, we can paint some stuff okay. if you'd yeah. like. Let's do it. We got this little pigment watercolor. Move my little baby thing. over here. How do I do this? I'm not an expert. You are. I think, yeah. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> Ooh, big set of watercolors we have here. Yes. That's beautiful. These moon shaped fans, they are traditional in our Chinese culture, mm -hmm. and they usually symbolize um, prosperity and good luck okay. and reunion in families and friends. Okay. So you, I think normally you'd like paint some uh, auspicious symbols on it. Mm. Anything you'd like to paint? Well, I feel like it should be some nature scene. It reminds trees? me, yeah, trees or lakes, like I think a lot of traditional Chinese folk art has like yes. a beautiful nature scene, like a special place. Yes. So maybe I'll do some sort of like Australian trees. Australian trees? Yeah, okay. Yeah, like maybe a gum tree. That would be cool. Eucalyptus. That would be a real That'd be different. <laughs> crossover. Yeah. Like China, Australia. China fan, but Australian trees. Okay. Okay. What are you going to do? Uh, since we have a little baby panda here, I might just draw a panda. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Can you show me again? Like, what is this? Okay, so you squeeze the water out. So this okay. is a travel kit. I have one of these. I have three of these, actually. I have three little ones, but this is a really good one. The water is inside. You squeeze onto the color, and then you smoosh it. Do I squeeze here to no. wash the color out? Uh, like, yeah, if you want to wash it, but... Right now, it's yeah, kind or, of weird or up here, you oh. can do, yeah, just... Or on a tissue. And then um, squeeze it onto the color you want. The more water the lighter the, the color. color. Yeah, if you have less water and you get more of the pigment, mm -hmm. it will be darker. Okay, let me try. And then you just have fun with it and you can um, make your colors blend. But I don't know the Chinese way. I feel like there's probably a Chinese watercolor technique as well that I don't really know. I'm sure, but I'm definitely not a, an expert in this. Since what time you started doing handicrafts? Um, I always loved arts and crafts, especially uh, probably as an older child or as a teenager. I did a lot of different crafts. Then I actually went to 
art school. I went to college. My university degree is a Bachelor of Fine Arts, Ooh. majoring in sculpture, um, which I didn't really do that much sculpture, but I liked the idea of it. And nowadays I do more like textiles, crafts, Hand stitching, I saw you did embroidery, some sewing. What's that called? beading, oh, embroidery. Yeah, yeah, embroidery. Like it's a good one for traveling. I travel with a little embroidery circle, and I can just because you can take it on the plane. Right now, I'm making a brooch. A brooch. Yeah, I like to make presents for people. Who is um, it for? Like my Not mom, yet. my oh. mother-in-law, maybe like fa just family, like Christmas presents. Myself. I'm just experimenting with different styles. Mm. So lucky to be a family, they get to have like these handmade, beautiful little gifts. I don't all think the time. they really care. I think they probably put it in a drawer and <laughs> never wear no it. No way. I don't know. But it's nice to have something special um, that's not from a shop. Yeah. I think sometimes it's like put more love into it. You put you put time and energy into it and yeah. then your well wishes. It's definitely different and it's special. Yeah, I think so. All right, now I'm gonna start on my leaves. Wow, you're already like so far ahead. Like, what is even this? <laughs> more, more ink. Get more okay. colour. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. But look how your colours are blending. It looks great. Don't be afraid to oh, make a dent in it because it's like hard and dry right now. Whoops. Is that an oak tree? This is a gum tree. A gum tree. Like, have you heard the song, Give me a home among the gum trees. We love the plum trees. <laughs> A dog or two and a barbecue. It's an Aussie song. No, it's not. That's the Burke's Backyard version. It's um, a kangaroo. It's about Australia. Give me Kangaroos a home among the gum trees. Yeah. And gum trees. But it's the eucalyptus tree. So you know eucalyptus oil? No. Yeah, it smells really nice. And you can use it on your skin or like you can make it make your house smell. You can clean with eucalyptus oil. It comes from this tree. This is what koalas eat. Oh, it's the only oh. thing they eat. So if you picture a koala in a tree, oh, that's, that's this tree. Maybe I'll draw a koala please, in please there. Please do. <laughs> and, um, and a panda. You can be friends with the, with the panda. Yeah, exactly. It's very relaxing. But I just have so many leaves. Look how many I have to do. It's so take, pretty. It's take a really long time. All right, this looks like a good koala color right here. Yes. A little gray. He's going to just be sitting right here. Oh, so cute. <laughs> That's basically what they look like. Are you going to draw the eyes out too? I'll try. Let's get some. Is this one black here? Where'd you get? This is black, I suppose. This is dark green, right? I kind of, okay. I'm kind of lost in these like all different shades of black. <laughs> oh no. It's definitely not a thing for everyone to be so good at painting. Obviously. <laughs> Sometimes you do actually have to make it, wait for it to dry if you want, if you don't want the colour to blend, like, so like I didn't mean to do what I just did because I didn't wait for it to dry. Oh. But it kind of looks like a koala. Yeah. They're not going to be able to see it, but maybe some lucky fan will take this home. Yeah. Lucky fan gets the fan. <laughs> Good one. 